today we're here to uh, go into this great art gallery opening at Watermill. Uh, it's called the Arts Printer. And why don't you come inside and take a look at what we're going to be doing tonight? Come on with me. And with me here tonight is actually the founder of Arts Printer. Her name is Katja Bichkova. And I'm going to hand over the mic over to her a little bit because I really want her to show you all these spectacular artists that are here tonight. And why don't you walk with her and really take a look at this amazing artist that has come here to Watermill tonight. This is actually not just a local show. This is actually an international show. So I really wanted to take you around and introduce you to these wonderful artists that have come here tonight from all over the country and all over the world, actually, to show this incredible art. And Katya, I am so excited that you have put up all this work for us locals here in town. So I would love to hand over the mic to you and take us around and show everyone in the Hamptons what a great, great exhibition you're going to have here tonight. Thank you. Hi, my name is Katya Bichkova. I'm the founder and organizer of the international art competition, The Art Sprinter. And here today in the Watermill, we have 13 artists from all over the world presenting the best of the works selected by three of the judges, who is Nicolette Ramirez, Bart Koning, and Katarina Duarte. Here, as you see, we have the best artworks ever. These paintings, for example, is by Karen Clardy from South Carolina. We have artists from Israel, from Texas, from New York, from South Carolina, from everywhere. And we are very happy to be here in the Watermill Square Gallery presenting this amazing show. And one of the hosts of this event is Amy Laurent. She is working on the Bravo TV. And we are happy to help artists to get publicity and to exhibit their works in the, one of the biggest art centers in the world, the Hamptons. So here we have Sarah Han from Ohio, who came here. And she's one of the finalists of the Art Sprinter competition. Sarah, can you tell us more about your amazing sculpture that we see here? Yes, um, this is uh, based off of Bernini's Pluto and Persephone, and I used Chris Brown and Brianna because they've obviously had a lot of tension in their relationship over the years. Um, so I tried to draw a correlation between that. Um, it's, it's interesting for me, I work mostly with pop culture icons and kind of the stories and the myths that they've created around themselves and trying to create that correlation with the past myths. Um, the material is ceramics. Um, this is probably about my height. Uh, and then I do do some smaller ones. Um, Right now they're white. I try to keep them referencing the marble sculptures that they're based off of. I hope that people can come down and check it out. And um, It's been a great experience so far. So is there any other questions? Or? Uh, what do you think about art competitions for you as an artist? Where they, are they uh, helpful, specifically art sprinter competition? Well, it's been, this is really my first art competition. It's been a great experience to just meet different artists. Um, I really feel like out of the shows that I've been in, um, this one I really feel like the artwork correlates with what I'm doing the best. So that's been a good experience. And I've got to meet the other artists, which is a great experience. So. Thank you so much. Here we have Suzanne Scott from New York. She's one of the finalists of the international art competition, the Arts Printer, and she's presenting, I think, eight of her pieces here in Watermill. How does it feel, Suzanne, to present your work since in the, this gallery tonight? It's great. I mean, it's such a great venue, and you've done such a great job um, bringing so many different international artists together. And all the pieces really work nicely together and have a little bit of everything from realism to you know, completely abstract work. And it's just a really great venue, and a great environment, great location. What can you say about your work? What exactly are you presenting and which medium are you working with? Um, I always work oil on canvas, um, just real old school. Um, these works, I mean, mainly I had, um, I do a series of fingerprints. They're um, patterns in nature that are sort of identification, so I've been doing that for a long time. Um, these two are representative of that, they're people's fingerprints, friends and family of mine actually. These two are representative of an abstract series that I had worked on for 10-15 years, basically just mining an idea um, 
till I couldn't push it any further. So it was just using one shape and um, making it be a different piece of work every time, a completely different work using the same format. Uh, how does it feel for you to present your art specifically in the Hamptons? What does it mean? Uh, well, it's a great, rich tradition. I mean, historically, this is, you know, as we were, we were, we were in Montauk and I was driving through and I was like, oh, the springs, the springs are such an amazing energy in the sky. And, and, you know, everyone just historically from Pollock and de Kooning, you know, it's just always just been fantastic and still has an amazing tradition of, of artists, you know, Eric and April being out here, Eric Fischel, April Gornick, and you know, everybody's been here so, and is here and so it's just it's keeping it going. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. So walking around this fantastic art show, this caught my attention. This guy is named Joseph Calabellieri. And he did this. Now, me for the life of me, I would not know how to put any of these things together, but I kind of want to know how we do this. So, Joseph, I want to ask you the magic question. How do you do this? I can't tell you all my secrets. Come on. <laughs> oh, please, just give me a little bit, because this is this most beautiful woman of the world, and you've put everything, if you can't see it, really, I want you to shoot in a little bit. I want you to see every little detail that goes into this work and how he managed to attach all this thing. Now, I'm not an art lover, trust me. With me, it will be wine, more wine, but this is magic. So I would like to, for you to explain to us a little bit about this artwork and what inspired you to do this and how you put all these pieces together and how long does it take? And, and, and tell me, t talk to me, it's, it's such a magic piece. <laughs> well, the piece is based on Jackie O and her her fashion sense, and a wonderful portrait of her. It's actually silk screen on stained glass. So I have a silk screen made of the photograph. I silk screen it on glass. And then with all silk screen, you have to bake it in the kiln. Right. So you put it into a kiln, goes up to 1,200 degrees, and basically melts the paint onto the surface of the glass. That's the same way stained glass was made back in medieval times. But they didn't do any silk screening back then. It was all hand painted. So basically, once everything is silk screened, you copper foil it and you solder it together in different layers. And you wind up with a piece like this. And how long does this take you? This took about two weeks to, from start to finish, including all the baking in the kiln, soldering, putting it into a frame and that doesn't count the design the design takes even longer and can where can people find you do you have a website that people can find your artwork your spectacular work here that i am so amazed with <laughs> thank you yes i do have a website it's cavaglass c-a-v-a glass uh, dot com very simple because my last name is cavalieri nobody could spell that <laughs> so we just shortened it to cava glass I think this is amazing, and thank you for coming here tonight. And you're a part of this whole crew here that has been nominated for the prize that's going to come up at about 7 o'clock tonight. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, thanks. Very, thank you for coming. Nice to be here. All right, so this is one of our magic pieces. I'm going to leave you for a little while, but I'm going to come back in five minutes with some more of our artwork. Thank you very much. So I'm back at this amazing art exhibition here called Art Sprinter here in Watermill, and I once more found another gem in this whole art collection. His name is Mark Polda. And if you want to look over to these little pictures over here, I want to tell you, this is an amazing, what I call, amazing art. I'm not an art person in general, but when you see something that grabs you this spectacular, you want to, you want to know more. And I want to really get my hands on what it is inspires you would get you to this um, to this place and, and and I know you're one of the contestants here and you're you're, you're gonna go out for a prize maybe tonight and we'll see what happens but I would love to talk about what this inspires you and tell me but I know you have a story I know there's a story Well, uh, <coughs> March and April I uh, had the good fortune to travel to Bhutan uh, which uh, I had always dreamt uh, a visiting and little did I know um, when when I arrived that, that it was well uh, traveling through Bhutan it was me a guide uh, and two horses 
and uh, rather than being with the tour group. And so Kinga, who was my uh, Bhutanese uh, host, uh, told me that we had to travel up to uh, 14,000 feet up into the Himalayas. And when we did, uh, really uh, what you see uh, exhibited here is what I saw. Um, and I can say uh, it was the first time in my life, uh, you know, you always hear people say they have their head in the clouds and yeah. my head was literally in the clouds. Um, and I can't really say, I, it's still processing in my mind how that affected me, but certainly there was something very spiritual yeah. uh, about that experience. Um, and, you know, having a camera uh, with me, uh, you know, I had the luxury of capturing those moments. Um, quite, on, quite honestly, when I returned uh, home, um, it took uh, probably a good two months before I could look at the images uh, because the, the experience of Bhutan was so moving uh, you know, I would just tear up. And so it, it took a little bit of time for me to, you know, calm down a bit and, and really, uh, you know, it, uh, certainly I was at peace during the whole time, but, but, but be able to accept that I, I had been through such an incredible experience. Uh, what, what was it that sort of grabbed you, that made it so emotional for you to, to go through Bhutan? Was it, was it a, a specific moment that you felt that it was a... Um, uh, you know, uh, Bhutan is a, a, a Buddhist country, yeah. uh, Buddhist uh, philosophy of life. And, you know, I, I really did not realize how closely I, uh, my life mirrored that. Uh, until I was in Bhutan and, and I'm being told the stories of uh, the first Buddha and the second Buddha and, you know, and uh, just observing their way of life and the simplicity of it and forgiveness and uh, you know I, I live for today and I'm not worried about yesterday and I'm really not worried about tomorrow and you know it just all seemed to come together and it made me realize that uh, I, 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 I did have something to say but I was also uh, on the right path yeah. uh, you know where I could be at peace I can tell by your pictures I can tell they're, they're, they're absolutely incredible and they grab you as soon as you see them and I'm not um, the most knowledgeable about art when I do see something that grabs you you really want to and I, I wish you good luck I hope you're going to um, you know keep doing this for the rest of your life and, and hopefully we have a prize tonight there are many journeys <laughs> I know many another great artist here at the Art Sprinter in Watermill and I'm going to go and say hello to a few more people and I'll be back with you in a few I minutes so let me introduce our amazing curator and one of the judges Nicolette Ramirez and she's going to tell some art. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I'm really honored to be here this evening and to be one of the judges in the first of what I imagine will be many successful art sprinter competitions. I mean, Katya has come up with an amazing idea, and I can't think of a better person to execute a project of this nature. So welcome, everyone. Congratulations to the artists. You know, Keep doing the good work. I mean, it's always a challenge. There's in any industry, including the arts, there are going to be challenges. So just keep doing the work and be true to yourself, and hopefully one of these days you make some money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katya, for inviting me here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You and right now, I'm happy to announce our amazing celebrity host, Amy Laurent. And she's going to present diplomas for all the participants first, and then, <laughs> come on in, Amy, okay. and then we will announce the winners. So, first we would like to see here Hilary Schmidt from New York. She's the finalist of the week number one of submissions. Applause to Hilary. Yeah. So, 
already feels it. It's Suzanne Scott from New York, finalist of the week number two. Zoe 
Sua K from New York. Congratulations to to Joy. She's in Portuguese, Portugal. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now I'm happy to announce our winners of the competition. First goes prize number three, and these are all cash prizes. And I think. Amy will take the check and read the name go of the... <laughs> and go I shopping. Congratulations, Zoe Sue Kay. It'll help with her vacation. It'll help with her vacation. It'll help with her vacation in Portugal. Now we have the second prize winner, which is... It feels like Oscar. Congratulations, Peter Walker. Not here either. Not here either. Oh, okay. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's part of his uh, wedding present. Okay, good excuse. <laughs> Maybe finally, somebody the biggest might prize be might be somebody will be here. Let's see. Oh, this is a big check. Congratulations <laughs> to Miss Karen Clarity. <laughs> amongst all these beautiful artists and I am thrilled. Uh, congratulations. How do, you, how do you feel? I'm beside myself. I mean, the, uh, to be like a part of all these amazing artists and then to be the winner is like I'm blown away. <laughs> and, and what inspired you to do this? Um, beautiful piece here. That thank you. you. I mean, there's an amazing cash prize for it. Uh, there is some, so, there are self portraits, believe it or not, of myself and how I feel. I don't know how to explain it, but they, they're, they're incredible. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. Keep it up. Keep up all this good work that you've been doing, and congratulations. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you. Absolutely. So anyways, I have Karen Clardy, who won this amazing piece here tonight at the, at the Art Sprinter in Watermill. I am actually going to go enjoy myself for a little bit for five minutes, and I'm going to be back with you in ten. Wow. So with me here, we have another spectacular artist that I've discovered. I discovered. I discovered love, and I am looking at this piece that has all these layers and layers and layers of beautiful colors, and Chris Riggs, who's running for mayor uh, of, uh, where are we running the mayor from? <laughs> It's just um, a street art joke, so I can hang my name all over the street. <laughs> Anyways, Chris, it is nice to have you here tonight, and I'm, I'm, it, it's an amazing event that you're here. So what inspired you to do this? Just love, you know. We need more love on the planet, less war. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think, um, how many layers? Of, of, uh, can you explain to me how you, what, what gets you going? Because most of us, you know. I just kept going with this one. I just keep painting until it, it looks right. Yeah. You know, so. Until you feel like the feeling is really right. You go after it with different colors, and if it doesn't look good, you put more. So you could, So how, how long did this take you? This one, a few months. A few months? Yeah. Okay. And all your other artwork inside there, too. And when you get going, you just feel your way through it, I can only assume, because it has a lot of love in here. Yeah. I work on more than one painting at once. I usually work on like 10 or 20 paintings at a time and then, you know, I, I work on one and while it's drying I go to the next one and then to the next one and then I come back. And you, and you do the next one and next one and next one? 
Yeah, I keep, like as one's drying, I go to the next one and then I'll come back to the first one. You know, because then it'll be dry. Oh my. So, if anybody want to buy one of your pieces or just want to look at your artwork, what is, where can they find you? Do you have a website? You can just Google my name, Chris Riggs, and I'll come up on a lot of places. Do you show in New York at all, or where we can, our local folks can go and see you, or? Yeah, I, show, I do shows all over. Good. Well, you're amazing. You're amazing. Thanks. Beautiful, I beautiful. I really love it. It's, it's great, and I, I'm learning so much tonight. Thank you for coming tonight. Thanks. Chris Riggs, everybody, great artist. Another one of, of, of an amazing artwork here at uh, Art Sprint in Watermel. Thank you. So this is Nina Churchill from uh, Hampton Spotlight, and I hope you guys had a really great evening tonight because I certainly did. We've shown some amazing artists, and I'm actually going to go in now and enjoy the party. So, Frank, yes. I'm going to hand you my mic, and I'm going to go in and enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you soon.